What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have broken the Ottoman power, but now the Polish have used have decided this is now the time to attack us themselves. So we've laid siege to Breslau, they're pushing troops up towards the north, uh, but their garrison is sallying out of Breslau and it's pretty darn weak. So let's take them out. Most of the main garrison uh, is a depleted Polish force. They got a few full strength units that have generated with the garrison. Uh, we are a bit depleted as well, but I doubt we are going to uh, have many issues with dealing with this garrison because our our empire is becoming quite nicely sized. But anyway, let's get this force destroyed. So we've got a couple of guns. We're going to trundle up to the battle line. Let's drop a couple of troops in the center there we go then let's take just an even block on the right flank a block on the left flank split up the cavalry and away we go It'll take them time to organise about what it is, what direction they want to go, and so we do have time to push up our line. So where's my general? Yeah, stay in the middle of the line. Fast forward time. Hello. Yeah, it's only provincial cavalry, so that's not a problem. They have horse artillery that's allegedly firing, but they have no line of sight. My guns are both in position, so let's just unlimber them. Hello, what's this? Go sit the garrison line. Am I pushing horse to kill the cuirassier? Stop fire at will. Not the cuirassier, the lancers. So fire at will back on. Draw the pushing horse out. And my infantry fire whatever they can. Then cease fire. Yeah, ultimately, let's just uh, advance. Ultimately, they're not going to be able to stop us. So the 20, 23rd Regiment of Line Infantry, they're soon going to be in position of my Marines. Let's get my militia to push their flank. So these guys are quite thinly distributed. Get my gunners to work on the breach. The provincial cavalry is shaken. Got a regiment of horse storming up towards them. So this is the enemy, the concentration, the main, the main concentration of enemy forces. For the actual infantry themselves, they're going to do plenty of good work. These armed citizenry don't really stand much of a chance.
charge my dragoons into that line infantry on the flank. My militia are aiming into this central block anyway. Get my big cavalry unit to the rear. You guys pivot and close the distance, and then you guys slam into the rear. Oh, there they go. You men keep fighting. Let's disconnect the center of my line. Provincial cavalry is en route. My dragoons should be okay with seeing them off. My marine's going to be firing into the flank of the 31st Regiment of Horse. Same with my militia. There we go. Get my cavalry over here to hit the 8th Regiment. Oh, you men fire at will. Poor old 29th Regiment. Hit them with this cavalry. When the last volley crashes in. You guys send, go forward to knock out the artillery. The rest of my infantry pivot to fill up this gap. Actually, just uh, get my cavalry behind my line. Get my guns to attack the center of the enemy force. give you one infantry unit as support. I'm losing a lot of dragoons. No one's inside the fort. It's a, these are the, the chaps we have remaining. There we go. You take up position in this gap. They're running the wrong way. go. So we've charged in, added a bit more support for the cavalry. Newman advance. Me men focus on the guns. We're starting to uh, cavalry starting to break. Interesting that the wild dragoons broke before the Prussian horse. Going to bring my other cavalry over here. Hello. That's not going to be helpful for my guys, although it looks like it's not going to be helpful for their guys either. There's a bit of a mixed bag firing into the combat like that. And then push up the line. So now this line infantry turn around. Watch you guys charge the charge the infantry because they're gonna be firing in. Ooh, good hit. Ceasefire. Yeah, there we go. So now this infantry can all advance. Some good fire by rank to lash down onto the heads of the Polish garrison. Twenty third regiment are the last ones alive. So now you guys push up. 
Push up. Push up. No, the cavalry's routed. Oh, you guys came back. But this still high strength unit of our dragoon is going to charge in. Might do some damage to my own cavalry. My own infantry, rather. There you go, now my marines are in. They love a good hand to hand scrap. Take that, monsieur! There we go. They're broken as well. They're all broken. Excellent. That'll teach you to sally against us. I mean, granted, this army is in dire need of some rest and replenishment. But yeah, that stopped there. That broke their ambitions of getting up to any sort of mischief at Breslau. This force is actually going to advance north towards Berlin. Block the gap. And then push towards Gdansk. Oh yeah, you got that French army that's all the way towards Paris. But we've got an army that's close. You were so close, France. You were like Scrat from Ice Age reaching out for his acorn. But yes, we're going to take out that army. Then the force that does it is going to advance south into northern Italy. They'll probably need to be backed up with another army at some point. To be honest, everyone needs armies. They need armies to take Copenhagen, armies to advance east, armies to advance north, armies to advance southwest, armies to advance south. We need troops, so we need to do it a bit slowly, a bit steadily, but we will generate those forces. And before we know it, we'll be attacking the, attacking the rest of the world. We do have troops over in the Americas. Soon. Okay, so we've got carcass shot. So don't go on to diamond formation, go on to reorganised procurement. Again, it increases upkeep, but it reduces recruitment costs, which is handy, because we are going to boom. So Mr. Tauber, get up towards Berlin. Mr. Farber, spend a bunch of cash replenishing you. We also want to build some of these infrastructure upgrades, but we also want to continue our road building. There you go, Mr. Mering. You're going to have to attack him from behind, even though it's not exactly what we wanted to do. Yeah, see, their army's pretty dire. It was quite ballsy of them to think they could take the city at all. So we'll destroy this force, reconstitute it, advance south, and probably try and generate more troops from Paris as well. Well, with whatever we can with the money we've got. Yeah, so... So there's not really a huge amount of tactics involved here. This militia unit is going to stay out of the way. Pair up some light and heavy cavalry together. Good, that's my Hohenzollern. Curacier with my Val Dragoons on the left. And my Curacier and Hussars on the other flank. Nice. Okay. Don't go to howitzer behind the line, you're just going to lob shells. Just lob round shot, just to try and get your experience level up. Yeah, my artillery is just going to have a grand old time. We do have reinforcements coming in directly behind them as well. These Hussards de Bercheny, they've reloaded, but with the 40th foot, they're in position. Let's put a volley into you. A real good volley into you at that.
So charge my Curiosier into there. You guys pivot to face the new enemy. Push the cavalry up. My Hussars chase the 12th light horse. The heavy cavalry are going to annihilate their light horse. Get my general around the flank as well. Okay, there you go, the 11th light horse. We're shattered. Stop pushing the cavalry because the AI is doing their weird. Yeah, so you have to run away to make them come back. You guys. Pivot. Whoa, halt. Gunners attack the centre, same with my howitzers. Deployed stakes? They have deployed stakes. Getting my Val Dragoons to hit the General's bodyguard. Slam! I mean, you're both shattered. Got a spay. Oh, I, did. I thought I had equal cavalry. I guess not. So they're not quite sure where it, where it is they want to go. Group the artillery together. You men hit the 38th. Hussars can hit the 1st Grenadiers. You men can hit that regiment there. To be honest, let's turn the artillery off before they cause mayhem. Take out that last Swiss line infantry. You go. You guys hit them. Ultimately, a lot of this cavalry continue, yes, it's going to be a bit unnecessary. There we go. Let's not go mad, they don't have many troops. Got some experience on my Curassien, some experience on my Hussars, which is lovely. There we go. Nice. That'll teach these pesky French to push towards my capital. Well, not my capital. Their old capital. 59 men left. Obviously, some of them have survived. But I can dispatch the garrison to annihilate them. Yeah. Just to make sure they do die. So you guys need... Probably some more heavy infantry, like marines, line infantry, guards. That'll do. And you guys can replenish. Good. We've also got a fleet arrives to the north. So now we're at war with the French. Do I go for Newfoundland just to secure safe passage? Or my original goal was going to be Spain. Which will probably still be my goal. Because Spain is on my border. And hopefully if I can nick a few Spanish territories. We might be able to try and make peace with them. Whereas the French. Yeah. Ooh hello. Nice. There's a whole Spanish col colonial army. Perfect. My guys will sweep the sea clear of you guys. And you guys will sail into port. There's a British force there. Interesting. In terms of tech, nothing immediately on the horizon, but that's okay. Where is... 
probably do with upgrading you to a classical university and you to a classical university. 16,000 next turn there, that's pretty awesome. You're advancing, you're advancing, you've got Warsaw under siege. I mean, I'm happy to leave you under siege because we can't really do anything with our treasury. I will try and get that force up to the north so I can advance. Uh, we'll clear out northern Poland and then to hit Gdansk and Konigsberg. That's what I would like to do. As well as keep upgrading my economy. Hmm. Spanish Navy's on the move. Not quite sure where. They're going to go push my ships out of port, but they're not going to attack me. They've very much made that choice. Yeah, they're going to do some raiding. Raiding's okay. Do I want to intercept? I do, but I'm probably going to auto that, because that's all just badly depleted. Just a good chunk of care, good chunk of troops, but <laughs> the garrison's destroyed. Auto that cavalry unit. We lost 596 men auto-resolving that fight against one cavalry unit. They single-handedly nearly destroyed three units of infantry. The fools. Oh well, we've got plenty of cash. That's not going to be a huge issue like it would be in the early game. And the Ottomans, they're not done yet. So Cuba would be good, good to take to get some good resources. Take Santo Domingo as well. Then maybe hit Guyana for some very valuable territories as well. Pretty much to start to secure the Caribbean while incrementally along the way replace militia with line infantry. The current, that army has got a whole bunch of militia in it. Venice is on the move, where are they going? I don't like that one bit. Okay. So we're in Breslau. You guys can re replenish. I suppose. You men can get to south of this force and then... I mean, it, it just auto that. It's costing us lots of men, but fundamentally it's not a massive problem. So you can't really do anything because now we're in range. In fact, you can probably send these troops who are off to replenish another general. But instead, they're going to go join Mr. Talbot. So combine some units of troops together. A unit of Freikorps cavalry. So let's combine you and you. Then you and you. Okay, so in terms of Breslau, we can repair this mine. You guys actually sally to destroy that provincial cav unit. Only 41 men lost there, see? Let's add a bit more. Add a bit of cheaper bulk to the garrison now. We've got some good strong units. You still garrison Warsaw. Let's repair you, repair the farm, repairing the government building. Let's... Do you have any more villages? Budweiss. There, but that's about it. Let's get rid of the coaching in. Because we can upgrade the governor's mansion to help ease their... The ease their suffering. Let's upgrade... This water-powered cloth mill. Let's upgrade... The roads in Dresden. Just keep the roads snaking out from my capital. Rostock has got its port upgraded, so we should be able, in theory, to take more trade in. But it appears like we don't really have the people needed to make that happen. 
you men replenish whatever you can. Elsewhere, we can't repair anything or replenish anything, but that's okay. Um, put the garrison under siege. It's not a massive rush for now. Just siege the city. They won't get... They, I don't think they'll get here. They might actually get here in one turn, which means we're probably going to lose that sloop. But let's hit end turn. Ooh. Britain might be getting involved. Again. Good job we've got an army up near Paris. Gotta be wary of Spain, because they are massing troops. But at least in the west. Yeah, there we go. The garrison's sallying. Let's mow them down outside the city. They have no mortars, so we can push up to the city rather than waiting for them to deploy and come out. Come at us. We can just take them out ourselves. Come on, let me at him. So put my main infantry in the centre, split, well, generally split my militia up in half. They do have some reinforcements coming in, but they're not going to cause any real problems. My guns are going to go behind the line, then advance with my line. back here will be okay. Let's speed up time, see if my troops get into position before those colonial dragoons are able to get up to any mischief. Very good. Keep advancing my line. Yeah, they don't really know how to respond to what's going on. Get my Val Dragoons over here. Because these militiamen are going to be... The guys facing off. I was about to say the more dangerous flank, but actually we've got the advantage here because we can over... We can extend around their flank. You men can lock the fort up. You men can push the flank of said fort. Go on, militia. Make ready. A volley in at point blank. Same with you guys. Make ready. Fire. Okay, let's send two men to go deal with these buccaneers because we know buc we know buccaneers aren't terrible. Actually, you militia scale the wall. Flank. Where's my Val Dragoons? They're not here quick enough. But we've got the... We can extend around the flank of these militia because that's a Dragoon unit gone, a militia unit gone. The 28th and the 33rd will provide much needed fire support. 
in the center so now we really need to knock out these buccaneers in short order You know, you go scale, the marines get ready to hold the gate. Let's extend our lines, because we've got more firepower than we can bring to bear than, than we are currently doing. Get my Vard Dragoons out around the flank of these buccaneers. You men get over here to man those guns. We own the fort. We need to redeploy these cavalrymen quickly to go bolster this militia unit here. Although they're holding themselves, they're quitting themselves quite commendably. New men have charged the militia. My Frey Corps take position above the centre. You men take position on these guns. Hey, that militia unit fended off two cavalry units. Well, also the centre of the enemy strength here is just going down. They did get a melee charged after all, and they had this unit of line infantry hammering the flank after they tried to bayonet charge my line. Good, you men scale the wall, although to be honest, it looks like that flank is going to surrender. If you guys can take position, then you can man the guns and fire down into the enemy troops. Fortunately, this militia is holding. The, bu the buccaneers are firing their pistols at the 111th. No, the 11th, sorry. Doesn't appear to uh, be doing what they want them to do. Okay, so let's keep our dragoon hit the colonial militia. You guys push up. These guys have manned the wall, so that's going to be this flank secured. The militia are trying to charge the Freikorps rather than engage the units that are actually here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's the 13th gone. That'll soon be the 15th and the 22nd gone. They're firing their guns. Here we go. 32nd Regiment getting shot to pieces. When you guys take position on the wall, you will further upset them. So when that last chap gets into position, man the wall, man the guns. You may fire when ready. Yep. So there goes that flank. So 
So let's get these two units over here to help out the other flank. But the closer we drag them to the walls, the better. You can see these the enemy reinforcements coming in. But let's redeploy. And my militia line. Push around the wall. Shattered, broken. Okay, just start to shatter some people. This infantry unit's done good. They can just come in and hold the center. There you go, the Buccaneers. So let's form a battle line. There's the enemy Spanish Dragoon unit. But as soon as my Marines take position on the wall, they'll soon be gone. Ah, there's a guy stuck down here. So my Freikor will never be able to fire the guns. Can't even order to make them run away from the wall. No, they're just stuck. So you guys get onto the wall, then when you man your position on the fire step, you should... Oh no, you're going to be... Is it because you're trying to shoot at the colonial militia who are kind of on the wall? That happens a lot. See, the marines are trying to fire into the centre, which is really not what I want them to do. I want them to shoot at the dragoons. Charge my Vile Dragoons. Okay, line infantry on the flank. Good. Let's begin the advance. Now we have that devastating fire support on the flank. So everyone, charge the Dragoons. Yeah, they do have an actual general's unit. They're absolutely panicking now, though. Oh, we've got our uh, gone back to, to vanilla sounds. No, we haven't. You men reload. This guy is so cash. You might have to charge the Buccaneers because they got around the flank. Charge the Dragoons. Hopefully they route fairly soon. So another unit of Buccaneers. Push the line up. that over there? General's bodyguard. Okay, let's peel some militia units away from this action. Okay, looks like we don't need to fight along the walls anymore. They're firing to the rear of this combat here, which is actually causing us some challenges. Forgot my general all the way back there.
And there we go, we left the Dragoons behind. A lot of friendly fire there from gunfire. The Dragoons charge, get the militia to charge. Commit this infantry in to help support that unit of line infantry. And then let's advance and destroy the last remaining unit of Buccaneers. Well, the last remaining units of Buccaneers. Good hit with the guns, but ceasefire now. So this Buccaneer unit will now fall under the mass charge of our line infantry. You guys chase down these Buccaneer units so they don't reconstitute themselves. Got a general's bodyguard unit there. Pursue the buccaneers. And let's speed up time. Because the general's bodyguard's going to be the unit that just runs around and generally causes issues. Even though they then immediately break when you attack them. And we kill their general. Good. God, sometimes the AI do it really does just grind my gears. But there we go. We lost a thousand men, that's three and a half thousand. More Polish raiders coming in. Looks like they are bolstering their lines. Yeah, you guys fall back rapido. I do want to keep bolstering my garrison at Austria. Do not want them to surprise us there and punch through that front. It's probably also worth making sure that I'm researching, or well, that I am continuing to develop my artillery technology. Because quicklime is mighty useful. Here comes that Venetian stack. Just a second, guys. Huh, a rake in Iceland. He's never going to go anywhere. Let's recruit a sloop. Okay. Augsburg, you get a coaching in because Munich has got a bit of a clamour for reform problem. Okay, let's recruit two 12-pounders, unit of marines, and unit of line infantry guards to help stand vigil. You guys just take out that next unit of provincial cavalry. You might even just stay there. You guys can go to a craft workshop. You're replenishing. You're going to continue to replenish, but push Gdansk. Can you guys actually leave Breslau? You can. Get some militia support. You guys push south, actually, to prevent any such penetration of our line. Let's repair that. Lots of traits gained. Martin Mering is less likely to be assassinated. Hey, it's because we got an assassin over here. So let's get you some Grenadier Guards. I want to upgrade this college here. And let's pop over Back to the Americas. You're going to continue to replenish. Continue to... Well, you could actually just attack. Let's do it. <laughs> I was going to say, because I've got lots of militia, I'm like, do I really want to attack? 
Eh, maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. But then, considering just how depleted they are, uh, it would be silly not to. We can gain a foothold, granted we don't have the money to recover or repair the buildings, but that's not going to be a massive problem. So get my 12s deployed. My militia... My Lanvin militia go up front. The rest of my troops go around the flank. Marines go up front. Mm, so it's form. Get my cannons unlimbered. And then focus on... Oh, okay, because I'm ordering people in... Fast forward mode, they get grumpy. But yeah, that's the section to destroy. To be honest, while that's going on, these guys are going to advance. And my front line will advance. At speed, lest they get shot in the back. Means you guys will advance at speed. I mean, I'm only sp I'm only playing this bit fast at high speed because nothing's really going on. The wall's not far from being destroyed. So the idea is we swarm their line. Advance my militia up, ready to take advantage of a breach as soon as it is practicable. One more volley and the wall will be down. Yeah, see, so my militia are just, they're not very good at attacking walls, they're gonna rout. Keep putting pressure on them. So you guys hold ground, let this smaller, weaker unit scale the wall and secure... secure the, uh, the gates. Frycor attack the colonial militia. Okay, you guys might have to attack the enemy cavalry. You men attack that garrison militia. Because when these guys get in, they're going to try and take the command HQ. If we can take the gatehouse, that is. The enemy. Oh, actually, we're doing some. We are doing damage to the buccaneers. That doesn't normally happen when you just shoot up at the walls. Ladies. 
So why is this not ours? I was going to say. Charge my infantry off the walls. Still hacking away at the men defending the walls. Get my militia in. These guys can they're gonna get some pot shots off at the cavalry. I guess it's the cavalry. Got the enemy garrisons on the wall surrounded. Twenty two buccaneers, twenty five militia. We got plenty more militia than they do. I mean if fine, if they don't want to fight us and they instead want to get involved in that combat, they're welcome. I will use my I will use the time I have to get my troops off the wall instead. You guys can abandon trying to take hold of the command HQ, just get inside. Just kill the remaining troops on the walls just so everyone can progress cleanly. You men charge into the back of the musket combat here. You guys push up, ready to storm through the sea, storm through the, the breach. Aya! One of you units charge down the steps. One of you continue to attack the enemy militia. You men both attack the colonial militia. There we go, the troops at the gate have been annihilated. Actually, they've all broken. There we go, perfect. That's right, you better run. Excellent, well, that's our first Bavarian colony formed in the Americas, which is pretty awesome. Except we can't do anything else. Uh, is that, are those troops in ambush mode? It feels like they must be. But still, there we go. We got we got Cuba. If I can upgrade this, I can start to recruit line infantry, which isn't completely necessary, but it's still useful. Holguin may develop into a, a military shipyard as well. But first, twenty thousand seven hundred. Awesome. But you're pushing on towards Gdansk. You're still sieging Warsaw. So, I mean, we could take it, but there's no immediate rush. Let's hit end turn. The Brits can't make up their mind what they want to do. Tyrion's going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack. Hey, the Warsaw garrison is sallying. Yeah, well, we will sort that out, but looking at the timer, I believe it's probably time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of yet another Polish garrison. Cheers, everyone.